this expression, the first expression on the slide, is the expression for the pound Drieber Hall error signal. It's the real part of the carrier multiplied by the lower side band plus the upper side band conjugated. You'll also see we have phase terms, and this is the demodulation phase. So you can see how the demodulation phase rotates the side bands. Um, this is not particularly easy to digest. So what we can do is look at this expression here. The real part of complex number times complex number conjugated, it turns out if you run through everything, that that is actually the dot product of these two numbers. So the real part of Z times W conjugated is Z dot W. Okay. With this knowledge, if we return to the first expression, we see that we have some complex number, complex number conjugated. And if we make the connection, we'll find that the PDH error signal is nothing other than the dot product between the carrier phaser and the sum of the two sideband phasers. So the PDH error signal is the carrier dot the sidebands. That's how we can compute it. So let's think about that a little more. If we have a signal demodulated with I phase, how do we get a signal? So if, if, if any of these phasers changes size, uh, like different powers, we don't get any signal. However, if the carrier phase changes, remember phase was a rotation in the complex plane, then the dot product of the green with the red plus the blue is, it exists, so we can detect phase changes of, of the carrier. Uh, in the Q phase, however, because the two sidebands are the same size, uh, they cancel out. So the dot product of, of the sum of the sidebands is zero. So the dot product of anything is zero is zero. So we couldn't, in this case, detect a phase change of the carrier. However, if one of the sidebands uh, changes size, if it's attenuated or if it grows, which is uh, more rare, um, then these sidebands no longer cancel and we do get a dot product with the carrier. So I signals can look at carrier phase and the Q signals can look at the differential amplitude of the sidebands.